I completely filled eight different teams with players at the same position, and the entire tournament is going down right now. So get comfy and vote on who you're rooting for to win it all down in the comments below. Our first matchup out of the offensive conference are the wide receivers specializing in speed, agility, and catching versus the tight ends who have a significant size and blocking advantage. One player to look out for the Jags wearing number 43, their quarterback, Taysom Hill. We all know he could sling the rock as a former quarterback in the NFL. On the Vikings, side running back Debo Samuel coming in at a 98 overall technically makes him the best halfback in the entire NFL. I'm thinking this is going to be a tightly contested battle. The kickoff is off and the tournament has just begun. I'm going to be learning players as we go. Tyreek Hill! No! What a way to kick the tournament off! You can't make this up! Oh, in the backflip! Ladies and gents, good vibes for the wide receivers. By the way, their receiving core is stacked. Justin Jefferson, Tyreek Hill, Devontae Adams, Stephon Diggs. That's where they can afford to put him at kick and punt return. They have guys to sub in easily if he gets tired. This is huge. McCall Hartman, extra point. This is a place where they might struggle. Can the tight ends take one back? We'll find out. Now it's time for Taysom Hill. Just to clear any confusion, yes, there is a separate best position tournament over on my YouTube shorts. Completely different matchups, completely different results. Don't get it confused with this, people. The game started off with running back Travis Kelsey helping his team get near the 50. Trips up top. Taysom's gonna throw this one. Oh, but he gets pressured by Mike Williams. What a snag there. I mean, I'm not too surprised. This could be a very offensive game. Well, you know, it just makes sense. An offensive start it was. Nobody could stop these tight ends. Was that seven? Oh, that is close. We are inches away from the tight end's first touchdown. We've had one defensive stand, the fullback run. Wow, wide receivers are looking kind of big. Tight ends are gonna have a third crack at it. Travis Kelsey gets six. We officially have a tie game. Now the big question, can six foot seven Zach Davidson hit an extra point? Easily. I can't believe they just kicked it off to him again. If Tyreek Hill takes it outside. Oh, the tackling. Now it's time for Odell Beckham at quarterback to lead his receivers downfield and see if he can mimic what Taysom Hill did his first drive. Keep in mind, so many X factors here on the field on offense. There's Whoa. Debo Samuel. I warned you about him early. Picking up 14 on his first touch. He's doing it again. There is so much open running room. Then Odell locked up for his first pass of the game. Oh no, we got a deep ball. Wide open receiver is Justin Jefferson. Now, very interesting. Keep in mind, the Jaguars, the tight ends, have a huge strength advantage. So far, we haven't seen it, but really tight inside that five might make things tough. Hunter Henry with a big tackle. Now out of gun. Probably a good strategy for the receivers. And wide open, Devontae Adams. Couldn't have been much easier, people. Here's the question, which offense is going to crack first? Also, it just makes sense that Minnesota would go for two here. This, I'm telling you right now, could end up haunting them at the end of this game. Deep to receive speedster Evan Ingram. Uh oh, we might have something here. What a return. Taysom Hill then hit a quick pass to Kyle Pitts and Dallas Goddard. And he did it again to Dallas Goddard. And here we are. And he's staying out of gun. Big blitz screen pass. Travis Kelsey blockers ahead. Taysom Hill, 8 of 8, 85 yards. We got five tight ends out on routes. A quick pass making it look so easy. George Kittle, his fourth catch of the game. This could be huge if the tight ends can get in the end zone. It looks so open. They'd just be able to overpower him. Taysom Hill might run it himself. Look at the pocket presence to get through oh my gosh and i'd assume they will get up by two not going for the two-point conversion to get up by three we're now at halftime i tell you what this could be game of the tournament so even this far now just in case if you guys are curious on the defensive side for the receivers aj brown deandre hopkins at left and right end their highest overall players amari cooper and cooper cup are their two safeties they haven't done much of anything yet somebody's gonna have to make a play, make a tackle, do something. For their first drive out of half, the tight ends really started to rely on third down and Kyle Pitts, which was working for him. This set them up for their third, third down of the drive. Oh, I hate that play call, obviously. From 39 yards out, right hash. We got, uh-oh. What was that? Roughing the kicker. Oh my gosh, it's a first round. Yep, yep, you, you can't be too happy at him. Instead of three, Jacksonville now has a chance to get up by two scores. I think they're gonna do it. There goes Taysom again. Oh man, 
He is so nimble. What a mistake from 57. Again, I don't know who it was, but whoever ran into the kicker might have cost this team in this tournament. The heat was now on these receivers, and they started their drive off with Debo Samuel yet again. They're going to have to eventually find something deep. They're not trying it now. I kind of understand why. Jeez, they love this formation. They're just quickly again. Oh, Odell missed an easy one to Mike Evans. That's a pass he got to hit. Now it's third down. Then OBJ was clutch, hitting his third down pass and another one thereafter to get him some extra yards. There he goes. Oh, that's such a pillow move. That's kind of something Odell would do though now. He can run. Yep, he's taking off. There it is again. A first down and more. Listen, we're about to be under the two-minute warning. This would be huge if they could score before that. Dude, I'm all about comebacks. I don't care who wins. I'm just all about, like, tight, super good games. And if they score here, that could most definitely happen. Uh-oh, Odell is panicking. Look at him right now. Oh, he threw a no! Miss Justin Jefferson this time. I question whether or not even from here, the Vikings can make a field goal. And I don't know if they're going to try it or not if they don't score here. So this will be massive. What pressure there. If they don't get this, this will be game. McCole Hardman to keep the receivers alive. Oh, dude, this is going to be too far, isn't it? No good. No good. They didn't get it. Tight ends are moving on to round two. The Jags will take on the winner of the quarterbacks versus halfbacks, which just so happens to be up next. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna take a quick pause because today's video is in partnership with DraftKings Sportsbook. Now all customers who sign up with the link in the description and use my promo code pizza are going to get an incredible incentive. After signing up, all you have to do is place a $5 wager and you'll get $150 in bonus bets added to your account instantly. You can even use these bonus bets on DraftKings same game parlays at a chance at even bigger Bigger winnings. It's also perfect timing with the Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington card that's coming up this weekend. So we can combine multiple bets together from the same fight. And again, if we hit, then we're going to have even bigger payouts. Now, if you already signed up for DraftKings like I am, it's no problem. All customers are going to get a no sweat same game parlay or same game parlay X, where if your bet misses, you're going to get a bonus bet back. If you're interested at all, there will be a special link at the top of this video's description. Do not forget to use code pizza. Thank you for your time get back into the video. We have a pretty similar team overall here. Quarterbacks coming out of the 33, the running backs coming out of the 38. There's no question the X factor for the running backs is Christian McCaffrey with all of his versatility. He'll be at wide receiver today and Lamar Jackson, X factor running back, 90 overall for the quarterbacks. The Chiefs are going to need to get him lit up and keep him protected. They will also be getting ball first. What a kickoff there. That went far as heck down to the goal line. We got a return by Justin Fields gets smacked. Here we go. Kansas City Chiefs at wide receiver. We have Ryan Tannehill, a former receiver. Jalen Hurts will be a number two, followed by Justin Fields and Kyler Murray. To guard those guys at corner, Tony Pollard, Raheem Mostert, Brees Hall. We'll see who wins those battles. Obviously, Mahomes having him on the team will help. And there's Tannehill. Big opening plays here. 41 yards already. We all know Tannehill can catch. He's a 59 over all wide receiver there's Lamar already breaking off a tackle pretty simple play here great blocking good catch Tannehill again we seen it with Taysom Hill our first game and now with Tannehill these players with actual experience at their secondary positions is huge big play big touchdown and a little stanky leg from Jalen Hurts and Ryan Tannehill what what is Justin Fields doing Zach Wilson the quarterback's kicker, and he can at least make an extra point. McCaffrey, gonna be the return man for the running backs. This one will be off to him, receives it at the 12. Uh-oh, one broken tackle already. You know this is probably gonna be an issue for the quarterbacks. Making life a bit easy for Cordero Patterson, the running backs quarterback. Now they don't have anybody spectacular. He's only a 27, but he is a threat to take off. First play for the Niners. And Cordero's wasting no time to Christian. Who is it? It's Austin Eckler. The one play banger. Look at the throw that couldn't have been much more perfect. A spiral right to him. Dare, a Goomba Wale. We know that he can make field goals. Dude, I am loving this tournament so far. A lot of offense, a ton of excitement. These offenses aren't playing games. Quickly to Jalen Hurst off the RPO, and he has a spark play for the Chiefs. They have not used Lamar Jackson too much. Really haven't necessarily needed him. This could be a call to Lamar Jackson right here. No, play action. T-Law is going to be open again for his second catch of the drive. I mean, you got to think about it here. The highest overall for the 49ers defense, 
Tony Pollard cornerback, 52 overall. For the quarterbacks, Joe Burrow at safety at a 50 overall. We are downfield in the red zone. And it's Fields first down. We have goal line defense for the halfbacks. The fullback dive. <laughs> Daniel Jones, that's you decide to go to on the goal line. This is big. I, I mean, this could be potential four downs for them. Here it is. Good blocking. And Lamar dives and gets a second touchdown for the quarterbacks. Patterson clearly has a favorite target. But the dinking and dunking got the halfbacks in a weird spot. You have to run this if you're the Niners, right? Wow. This could be a fake. Okay, it's not quarterbacks could get up by two scores is this real life and lamar only has four rushes for five yards wide open justin fields is gonna have a stupid amount of yards the amount of big chunk plays that these quarterbacks have gotten wow under a minute but their timeouts are still in hand. Justin Fields has 74 yards receiving already this half. Okay, and he's adding to it. He is not able to be guarded right now. I'm thinking T-Law's the way to go. Uh-oh, Mahomes might run it himself. Here we go, the quarterback spy wasn't enough. Tony Pollard, a dive and a miss. What's the quarterback spy doing? Tony. Yep, halftime is here. Here's a look at the stats. It's all been in the passing game. Luckily for the 49ers, they are gonna be getting ball here. Good starting field position. They're not running the ball. I highly question that. Christian McCaffrey's gonna get him a couple to start. There's the run. What'd I tell you? And there's Josh Allen. He can't even bring him down. Josh Jacobs on that one, by the way. And here they go. What if Shanahan got drawn up? Simple play on the flat, and he's getting nine. I formation, clear running look here. Power right, and there's Chubb. Where's this been all game, running backs? We got ourselves a ball game. Yo, I didn't even realize... The quarterbacks have three X factors activated and a screen pass is coming for Lamar Jackson. That is so dangerous for the running backs and you see why. I hate to say it, but Derrick Henry and the running backs still had no answer for the Chiefs offense. Tannehill, touchdown. Every drive they've had has been perfect. It was really starting to seem like the quarterbacks just had this in the bag or until, wow, at the perfect time, Christian McCaffrey got himself a house call. There's gotta be a stop sooner or later, right? I don't know though, man. Patrick Mahomes is looking as good as ever. They feel so comfortable that they're out no running backs. It's Lawrence with his seventh catch of the game. They have just found a connection that is working. It's working! Did somebody order a delivery for Justin Fields? His sixth catch of the game. We're at the point now where the running backs needed a turnover. This is gonna be Lamar Jackson off a draw. Great lead block from Trevor Lawrence. I don't know why they risk any anything else it was the same play they seen it it worked it's a touchdown pretty safe to say that the quarterbacks will be moving on to round two where they will be taking on the tight ends for all you stat people out there what a game from both quarterbacks and it was all about the receiving game seven catches for lawrence six for fields five for Tannehill. now as fun as all this offense was it's time to move over to the defensive division up next we have an incredibly even matchup first two positions that are very similar the safeties and the cornerbacks. Tylona Hufanga versus Patrick Peterson at quarterback. Dude, there's so many good defensive pieces as well. I can't imagine these teams being able to move much, but that's what we're here for. We will find out. Our third kickoff of the tournament is off, booted by Justin Reed. We know he has a leg. There we go, Patrick Peterson. Uh, apparently he's had a completion before. Denzel Ward will be their running back. 70 overall, but 94 speed. And then at wide receiver, we see Trayvon Diggs. Might have learned a couple things from his brother Stefan. We'll see if any of that knowledge can pay off for not wasting any time. And we do have some defense. Fawn Bell. For the safety, zone coverage, hit power, and tackling. Definitely their specialties. I think a turnover really is what we're going to be looking for here. Nice run there from Denzel Ward, though. Looking for a block shed. Gets nothing. Nice first down. Don't let that first down fool you. The safety second crack at defense went about as good as advertised. Crazy enough. First punt of the entire tournament. We're flipping possessions over to the safety side. There's no fair catch here, so we're going to get a couple extra yards. Talad Noah Hufenga. 12 overall people. Kyle Duggar, the safety's best wide receiver, 51 overall, but they're gonna hand this one off to Tyron Matthew. A weird broken tackle. Oh, my apologies. It's Eddie Jackson. All day to throw. 
Going to stay short with it. And there's Matthew, but Sauce Gardner. And he is taking off Fanger for the first time. But no sooner that you thought their drive was looking great. Oh, that's a big sack, Russell Douglas. I actually really don't know about this play call here. I'd be playing for a field goal with Justin Reed. That blocking was crazy. They went for it all. Who dropped the pick? Marlon Humphrey at safety. He had a freebie. Believe it or not, on possession number two, the cornerbacks got into a little bit of a groove. Wow, this game's flying by. We're already down around that two minute warning. Oh, I think, yep, he does have the run. Again, legitimate way to really help them move position. Clean pocket again. This is deja vu all over it. Three times for Patrick Peterson, 44 yards in the second quarter. All was looking so good, but not too fast. Oh, they threw a flag. That's gonna be PI. Huge mistake by team captain Minka Fitzpatrick. Final play before half, essentially. At least the final offensive play. They have him. Touchdown! Trayvon Diggs, we talked about it earlier. The penalties, man. We're going to be talking about that one for a bit. We got halftime. We got a six-point game. Negative six passing yards for the safeties. Oh, boy. It's very fortunate for the Steelers. They'll be getting the ball here. We need to score. We've seen them drive a little bit. I'd like to see Ufanga take a part out of Patrick Peterson's playbook. Maybe take off himself now and then. All these short passes are nice and all, but they're going to catch up to you. Steelers maximizing their receivers with everybody they got. That's the downfield shot. Oh, ho, ho, ho. heck no. Hey, guys, I want to throw this out there. Keep this in mind. The safeties are a position that have won this tournament before. So if they're out here in round number one, that would be pretty huge if you ask me. The cornerback started utilizing their slow and steady approach, which was not only working, but really milking out the clock. Really the only thing the safeties have going for them now is knowing, oh, what a snag there. But these guys should know that the Buccaneers aren't kicking a field goal anytime soon. And that is a big run there. Looks like a passing play. Number one corner for the safeties is Buda Baker. I don't know who's going to be there. A whole slew of defenders. And it is third down. Last time Pittsburgh got in trouble with penalties. That's a big tackle. There's an off chance Christian Gonzalez can make because it's only the six yard line. Oh man, this will seal the game. That's good. Oh, he did it. He put it through. Oh man, I actually thought he was going to miss, but this might be over and might be a shutout for the corners. And with one more huge sack from Xavier Howard, this game was over. Congratulations to the cornerbacks. You'll be moving on and facing the winner of our next game between the defensive linemen and the linebackers. Dude, I tell you what, I love how this tournament is set up. We got a lot of things to talk about. Number one, Micah Parsons now representing the defensive linemen. If this was last year, he'd be on the linebacker side. Another story to look out for. Who's going to make a bigger impact? Nick Bosa for the defensive lineman or Joey Bosa on the linebacker's side? Let's expect another defensive game as the defensive lineman will get the ball first after a booming opening kickoff. And here he comes. 23 overall. Dominique Robinson. Who the heck are you? Don't know. To help him at running back, we got Chase Young, Montez Sweat, Will Anderson, Miles Garrett being receivers for the Bills. Them linebackers, man. Look at the abilities they got. Trying to go deep. I respect it. What a grab there. Aiden Hutchinson, their tight end. Wow. It's going to be a run to Chase Young. He's holding that ball loose. Be careful with that. No turnovers yet from anybody. Wow. All right. We got an offense that is in full pursuit. This has been as good good as you can get for these D linemen. It's methodical. They're suffocating this game out. Aiden Hutchinson again. Just look how wide open that he got right there. Just an overall great game plan, but this is where you make or break. Touchdown, they got it. Will Anderson gets him in the end zone. We're about to be awaiting a kick from the Dominican Sioux. Yes, you heard that correctly. But at a 61 overall, he will cap off a near picture perfect drive. Here's the man of the hour though. A Wosu Koromura. He might be a 12 overall, but he has 89 speed, and this man loves to take off. If I were them, I'd start with the short play. Exactly like that. The short play's turning into big yards! I don't know who, I think it's Devin White, ladies and gents. One of the fastest people on the field. But let's see what happened here. You don't expect many missed tackles to happen, but there we go. Trey Hendrickson soiling the bag. We got a game on our hands. We're going deep again. I like it, dude. That's a spiral. Get Moss over a 90 plus overall Demario Davis at safety. Buffalo has a chance to control now. If they so happen to do it. Uh-oh, look out. How did they miss that? 
Oh! Oh, that's a run. That's such a good call. That worked out. Nobody in the building seen that coming. Pay attention here. We haven't seen Miles Garrett used yet. It's a screen pass. Chase Young. Easy peasy. Get him on in. We got touchdown number two for the defensive lineman. Way to clap back after a big play from the linebackers. I mean, what can I say? Dominique Robinson, Montez Sweat, Aiden Hutchinson really doing it for the defensive lineman. One player from each side to look out here for half number two, the two starting cornerbacks for the linebackers at an 85 overall, Roquan Smith, and at an 83 overall, Micah Parsons. I tell you what, I need to see something that's not just a lucky play. There we go, I, that'll do it. Dude, this just cracks me up seeing all of these abilities. Look at them lined up on defense. Yeah, you gotta get that off quick. That could have been picked, dude. They're getting pressure. They're making sure that Cincinnati doesn't have time to break loose. There's a sack from Chris Jones and we got another punt just like that. Again, the Bills were not able to put the game away, setting up a third down when... I don't know why they're under center for this third down. Uh-oh, that's TJ Watt. Very good blocking. Oh, look where they're getting it at, though. As a run, there's Shaq Thompson. Been waiting all day for him. He got spun around like a helicopter. A receiver at the top of your screen, two at the bottom. A tight end also out there. And that's the interception. First of the game. And it's to Marcus Lawrence that gets it out of all people. You got to be happy if you're a Cowboys fan or just rooting for these bills. Shoot, if I'm the Bengals, I'm trying to get pressure. Maybe force a fumble. Wow, how does he hold on to that? Look out now. This is dangerous. Randy Gregory gets in. Fourth quarter coming up, boys. Yep, look out, it's gonna be another sack. Oh boy. Again, you gotta watch out with them wobblers, dude. Any of those can be picked and taken to the house. Look out for Max Crosby in that matchup, especially if Chase Young's not blocking, which he's not. Here comes Max, and he came in with TJ Watt. It's fourth and 34, and we got a punt coming up. Hey, linebackers, look, this might be your last chance past midfield. Oh, they're taking advantage of it. Only his third completed pass of the game, but it was a big one. Two minute warning is upon us. And we got a nice throw, a beautiful one at that. Devin White doing it again. That'll put him over the 100 yard mark for the game. But then it was time for Nick Bosa to enter the game. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. On second down, they had an errant throw. You gotta get at least 10 here, am I not wrong? Oh, this might be game, people. Oh, brother, somebody has an X Factor. Take a look at that at the top of the screen here. It's, it's Chris Jones. Great pocket awareness. Let it loose. It's in the end zone. It's caught. It's a first down. Shaq Thompson, running back, gets it. What just happened there? Oh, I thought this game was well over, but hold on just a moment. Boys, this is a good point. If you've been enjoying this tournament so far, do me a favor, drop a like. We've had some amazing games on our hand. Here it is. Cormore is going to take off. It is wide open. No quarterback spy. We're looking at a tie game potential overtime. No, oh, dude, I would love for them to go for two here, but I don't see that happening. We're now relying on extra time to decide the game. Good luck to both teams. What a match to remember. There it is. <gasps> it's over. It's over. The first play in overtime. Levante David. What a mental error. It just, he had him open. Under center, the snap, they're throwing. Be careful now. And they're... They're out of field goal range. We're talking about a 48-yard field goal here from a linebacker in overtime to win the game after being iced. Gruber Hill, more than enough distance. Made it look easy. The comeback happened. Linebackers will be moving on to round number two. Here's a quick look at our tournament bracket. We are now down to the final Four. Here's what we're gonna do from here. I think I'm gonna turn this into two episodes because this is just super long. So make sure you're subscribed, hit the notification bell. The very next upload will be round two and the championship. Thank you boys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you're having as much fun as I am. With that said, you're the best. God bless. I'll see you soon. Peace.